community. Well, today's guest might be quiet, and I'm still having a second to get used to her here. Yes. <laughs> Joining us today, four critters uncaged from Miller Park Zoo in Bloomington. Pearl Yusuf is here with a ball python. And Pearl, welcome, first of all, because um, we are glad that you're here representing the Miller Park Zoo. I do not think in all of my years of doing sailing living we've ever had a snake of this size in studio. So let's kind of talk a little bit about maybe why people might be apprehensive of of snakes. Sure, whenever I, I handle snakes, and I, I don't do it a lot, but I've, I've done yeah. it many times, and mostly people think of they're slimy, they're sneaky, uh, and I remember someone once said, well, I don't want something like that coming out of the grass at me. I'm like, I wouldn't want anything popping up out of the grass. That's not fair. Don't blame the snake for that. <laughs> right. It could be a seven-year-old kid. I don't want it popping out of the grass at me. Um, so I think people just got a bad rep, uh, a bad thought about them. If you want to touch, oh, um, we can okay. work it back in here because okay. we have the thought about this sliminess thing, and they're not at all. In Ooh, fact, they're yeah. very impressive. Uh, there's so much muscle in their bodies. Uh, so this is not all flabby, slinky stuff that people might think it is. It's yeah. actually a very firm and, and in control animal, even feel so muscles. So how heavy will a ball python get? Not very heavy. Okay. Uh, I've seen up to up to eight pounds, but she's nowhere near that. Oh wow! Really? She's probably more like uh, five or six. So how old do they? How long do they live? They live. Fairly old. I, I looked up the record before I got here. The record was 47, and Rondé is 40. Oh, oh wow. Goodness. And how long? What's the length? She's only about uh, four and a half feet, maybe. And what does she like to eat? She loves rats. Ooh. So well. that should be a plus for people who don't like rats. <laughs> well, but do we find ball pythons in the Midwest? No, no. Okay. No, they're, so they're where a, are they? They're Asian species, and in a, there's, you know, rodents all over the world. So yeah. where there are rodents, they'll be there to to get their meals. Okay. And like I said, they're not poisonous. Uh, be, uh, pythons are a constrictor, so they work more on grabbing the prey and then squeezing it. Mm. Um, not like ones that might use poison, just hit you and then wait yeah. wait for you to be ready. Oh my <laughs> goodness. I would imagine the jaw would have to get pretty big to swallow a rat. Right. Uh, and uh, most snakes uh, can unhinge, their, their jaw will unhinge so that they can fit the whole thing in. Oh my goodness. And now you see her, her tongue going there. That's yes. her testing the room. You know how we have the phrase, uh, you know, read the temperature of the room. She's actually taking the temperature of the room. So, Grace, oh she is detecting gosh. your nerves. Yeah, here, I'm maybe. trying to stay calm here. I know there's just a collective. lot of new things for here. The, the lights, lights the yes. smells, the everything. And they smell by that tongue flick also. Wow. Um, so that, that, they flick that around and then pull back into this organ inside of their mouth and they can detect the pheromones in the room, the, wow. uh, the other smells, if there's any prey in the room. Oh my so goodness. So all of that is just trying to see what's going on. Wow. Okay, she's getting really close to your... She people, sure is. Girl, so I'm just getting a little concerned. <laughs> You've got some great events still um, coming up here at, at the zoo. Let's start with your MPZ Society fundraiser. The, uh, the zoo do. Yes, that <laughs> it's, sounds fun. Yeah, it's our biggest fundraiser of the year, so it's really important that you know people get uh, interested in going. Uh, it's on September 17th, and I believe tickets, tickets are still available. I just checked this morning. Okay, Wonderful. that sounds like a lot of fun. And then also it says construction on the new South America exhibit. Very exciting. Well, we just broke ground on it last week. I was away, but it it looks like they broke ground. Yeah. Uh, and it's um, mainly three exhibits where we're going to display a new home for our Galapagos tortoises and also have giant ant eaters. And um, the, this little South American dog that a lot of people here are going to get to learn what it is, it's called a bush dog. Hmm. And they're about the size of foxes, but they're, they're a little, they almost look like a little bear. Oh, my gosh. Well, well, she sounds cute. Something to look forward to there. Yeah, oh, yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. She's just chilling now. Yeah, she absolutely is. And she you're is. just calm as a clam. Yeah. <laughs> 
I would be. <laughs> wow, oh, I admire you. you. I've done spiders before. I, oh, I still get, I different still ball game. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah it's ball well, game. we are so happy that you were yes. um, here to join us today. Give Shannon our best there at yes. Mount Park Zoo. If you want to learn about everything happening there, we will connect you over on Sea Living's Facebook page.